What's up guys? Welcome back here to another Rise of Kingdoms content. Today we have a collaboration with Puddle Cakes. Before I start this video, I want you guys to understand that in this video that we're doing now with the battle testing, we're going to do more. So I want you guys to, you know, comment in the comment section below, make some suggestions of what battle testing we should try next. We are now with the same civilization as Puddle Cake, so we are using the Ottoman Empire. So in this channel, we want to create fair testing because there's a lot of inaccuracies out there that you guys are getting, uh, reading battle reports or whatever information out there that you're looking into. A lot of inaccuracy, and I want to make it fair in here and give you guys the best accurate information and, of course, the you know our assessment as well. Um, during the video, we learned a lot of things, especially after after the video, um, learning about latent power more and understanding more into uh, the battles because we haven't done a lot of testings and some of the stuff have changed and you know maybe our understandings from previously is different. Uh, we're trying a bunch of different talent trees as well. Um, we're trying to optimize everything to the best as we can and share to you guys so that you can um, educate yourself better as well by watching the videos that we are create you know creating. And of course, appreciate you know what we're doing in here. We're spending our time recording and um, you know organizing between the two person, and of course, spending our resources to uh, give to you guys in here. So I do appreciate it if you guys would consider subscribing to both of our channel to support us and continue to watch our YouTube contents. And of course, leave us some comments. We want to know what your opinions is, and of course, share our videos, and of course, also press like on our videos as well because all of these things will help us grow in YouTube and we you know we want to put our best work for you guys to enjoy and for you guys to learn in Rise of Kingdoms. Um, also try not to skip any of the battles in here. I will put a time frame or time time stamps and um, you guys can go through them but I highly suggest don't miss it because if you skip around into the video you're going to miss some of our assessments and they are very very crucial. Um, the 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 music in the game is kind of loud so next time that we're going to recover i'm going to adjust all of these things in here but like i said please don't skip around because you are going to miss a lot of information watch the video entirely as you can they're quite entertaining and they're fun they're not you're not going to get bored of it i trust me you're going to learn a lot of things in here um in the next videos we're going to do more testing i think we're going to try to do an artemisia and cyrus something like that so if you guys have any suggestions you know we're really very very welcome on to that suggestions and of course um, we're going to discuss more into the talent trees and we're going to break it down and uh, give you guys more information here. So I really love collaborating with Puddle Cake. So this is really fun. And um, like I said, let's support Puddle Cake's his channel. Let's get him monetized. Let's get him, uh, you know, 1,000 subscribers and above. And of course, get him to the 4,000 watch hours that the YouTuber need. Like I said, leave a like, comment, subscribe and share. These things helps youtubers anyway let's get on to the video what is up rockers welcome back here to another rise of kingdoms content today we have mr puddle cakes here today and um we're gonna roll the intro right now Alright, Rockers, today we're going to do some more battle testing. So if you guys have seen the previous testings, we're back at it again. Uh, back at it with Puddle Cakes. And um, if you guys remember, Rockers Never Die, then go ahead and make sure to check out our merch store and check out some of those cool swags. Awesome. I think you have seen our merch, right? What do you think about the design? I love it. <laughs> I just need to go buy one and then put a piece of tape on it saying that I always die. <laughs> <laughs> Rockers always die, huh? Um, all right. So we're going to do the test things in here. I am going to try to do my um, Artemisia and Tomiris because this is one of those uh, most popular ones that we... we... Oh, that's a 210. Ooh, that's too much. <laughs> I was going to say that looks huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, all right. <laughs> um, 
50k. All right. We are going to do this testing. And, you know, we were kind of pretty much the pioneers of Artemisia and Tomiris, you know? And it's a good thing to show to the other players, and like, how is this still viable uh, now that there is a Cyrus? And you are actually going to be using Cyrus and El Cid, which is the number one fan favorite of all archers, which is El Cid. All right, let's get this going. You don't have any equipment on, right? Yeah, no, I don't have equipment. Are you afraid of me? No. no. This guy's afraid of Artemisia. I am afraid of Artemisia. I get it. Artemisia is a beast. Let's see, though, if she's really... That's, that, that she is. That normal damage that you're hitting me, just the base, is really good. Um... Disabling me, huh? Disabling me. Yeah, Disabling you're destroying me. Maybe. Artemisia. Arty, Arty. Come on, girl. I know why you like Cyrus. I know why you like Cyrus. I finally understood it now. Why? Because he's got a beard as well. I know. Uh. You're sticking with the, the beard gang. Actually, you know, this is going to be gone in uh, 28 days, 26 days. Really? Why? Jesus Christ. You put a... My... my you put a Coke my bottle there. Yeah, my son, my son turns a year old, so I'm shaving it on the weekend of July 4th, I think. Oh, okay, okay. There's good meaning to it. So Artemisia to Myris is still a deadly combo. This fight is taking forever. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? <laughs> Both defensive commanders, you know, you're having that Sid. Uh, what else do you want to test out after this one? Uh, Ooh, I want to test your Nebu. Oh yeah, that's right. You wanted to test the Nebu. I want to kick Nebu's butt with Artemisia. Mm. Okay, let's take a look your at our heal. Report. Your heal. Ooh. Your heal saved you. Ooh. It's part of the game though. I mean, you still got more severely wounded. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Yep, yep, yep. See that? See that? See that, guys? Heal. Less you're severely wounded with no heal. And then I still have 4K remaining. Um, yeah. Very interesting, though. But, I mean, you know, actually, what you need to highlight here is that the Cyrus hit combo is still pretty decent. You know? To be able to get that close as well. Um, you know, it's pretty much a neck and neck fight. Um, what what in the hell do you have that lowers my health by twenty percent? Which one? What log? If you go to to troop buffs, I have twenty percent less health. Twenty percent less health. Look at Artemisia's second skill, bow and mount. Um, I have twenty percent increased health and twenty percent increased defense. So it's the base stats for the oh, skills. The base. Yeah, so it's it's buffed up with the with that stat. So having that, um, you know, skill is really beneficial. Yeah, all I get is twenty percent defense. Lame. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, I, I'll get I'll get out a in a second. All right, and then I want to see I want to see my Cyrus how Cyrus Sid performs as well because I have that latent power. I'm super excited to see this testing. You know that's gonna perform in here. Maybe I should do a video of all our videos of battle testing as a speed run, and just do a quick <laughs> compilation <laughs> speed run testing <laughs> without voice. That'd be very interesting. <laughs> Super speed, hundred ten percent. Yeah, just do a hundred fifty speed run. Um. Okay, I'm just waiting for you. Yeah, I was killing a barb quick. Alright. 
Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, we should do a battle of Nebu. And also with like Cyrus. Take advantage That's of this. Right. No, 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 like against each other. What is this? Oh. This is Nebu Cyrus. Nebu Cyrus. Look at that. You're taking 33% skill damage. Who do you guys think is going to win? Okay, who do you think is going to win? This is new meta. Oh, snap. I'm getting wrecked. No, I think you're winning. No, no, no. I'm getting wrecked. Let's see if I am able to pull on the last leg. This is new meta, right? Actually, what people hey. want to see is like more like... What do people use? Nebu Ramses? Well, they do Ramses, Nebu, or Nebu YSG. We should, we should try that and see... Hmm. You're beating me. No, I went to red first, but let's see if you're able to come back with heal and damage. That's interesting. In my screen, it actually showed me going red first. Very interesting. Really neck and neck. But imagine... I wonder if I put Ramses here as a secondary. If, what would the result be? Wow. It's so close for uh for a you know new super new commander and I'm using older commander. I think I lost. Oh Hit. man! Ah oh! yes, yeah, I told you. But super. Five fifty six. Oh my god, dude! Uh, I mean, I mean, of course the healing helps with defensive tree, but dude, this is two new legendary commander. Like I'm using old commanders. You know, interesting. Can can we do another one of your your same setup? And uh, then let me do a Artemisia and Ramses. You know, let's, let's see how how that's gonna perform. You need to go a bit early. Or not yet. No, I'm fine. I just uh, rock crashed like it always does. All right, so this time we have the same setup. Um, Nebuchadnezzar and Cyrus. Puddle Cakes, are you here? Yes, I'm here. I was just looking. <laughs> All right. Let's see if uh, Artemisia and Ramses. What is what is your bet? Ben, you're you gonna beat me. You're gonna bet. On... What? You don't trust your setup? Nope. You don't trust the new commanders? Nope. Let's see. If you win, you're gonna have the new commanders disappointed in you. Yup. No, I. I think. I think skill damage is too. too much defined by. Like, equipment and health and troop size. Like. It's, it's goofy. Whereas, like. Artemisia is super defensive, then you have Ramses who takes less skill damage yeah. and you heal. So. So like, much. I mean, if we're all. I mean, if we're both geared up, it will be the same. I get your point. This, this chick is whooping you. Whooping your newly expertise commander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I remember when Artemisia came out, and everyone was like, oh, this is gonna suck. Or when Tamiris came out, and you no know, one got her. What I don't understand is like, when I first got Artemisia, and I would rally with Artemisia, People didn't like that, but we were winning. We were we were killing the flag, and people are like, "Oh my god, he's a garrison commander!" Like, bro, some people just don't understand how to play the game. <laughs> it's like the defensive tree. Like, people don't understand that the talent tree plays a big factor in Rise Kingdoms. It's not just a skill. This is one thing I wanna I wanna point out in here to everyone. I hate the fact that Cyrus and Nebuchadnezzar don't have defensive tree. I see I don't like it. I wish they do. I think they'll be much much stronger in my opinion. With I mean, you know you know what I prefer I prefer actually defensive tree. 
than than the attack. I I really love the defensive tree on open field, and you have a high damage still like Artemisia. Um, I don't know what's your opinion right. of that, but I like the defensive. Yeah, I think the defensive tree makes archers really good. It makes anything good. Mm -hmm. So All right. I'm gonna try one of the fan favorites that you see in almost every arc, Cyrus YSG. Cyrus YSG going against well, who do you want me to put in? Uh, I mean, you've been destroying me with Artemisia Ramses or whatever. So Actually, I mean, the Artemisia Ramses did the best, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Better than the uh, better than the Tamiris. Yeah, much, much better than Tamiris. But there's a reason why we split March though, like that, because Ramses is a, a, another great primary commander. Right. Uh, give me a chance to set up in here. That's a 210k troops, by the way. I just hit. I'm just hit. Um, this is the YSG. I don't. I don't even. I don't know. It's doing pretty good. Uh, you're casting quite fast, honestly. Because both of the commander has good rage regen. And oh my god, I'm getting whooped in here. Not able to um, absorb you know, too much. Too much going on at once. Your rage accumulation is so quick. Ooh, you just like caught right up, I think, though. We'll see. That's tree working. Yeah, you just actually caught up. Like, I was significantly ahead. I think you might have healed a couple times. See, the issue now is that as even if you're casting so much right now and so quickly, your damage is getting less and I'm able to absorb that damage now with, you know, with my defensive abilities and trees. So, that's the bad part about, like, super high DPS as well. You know, you're good in the beginning, but if you can't keep up with that beginning hits and really knock it down, like, Two, three folds. That's where you kind of suffer in the end. But it shows yeah. you how how to play the game, right? So knowing this battle testing, you know, for for viewers, you know, typically as an archer player, you never want to go, you know, balls deep into like dying in here, like you know, going to the red. I mean, we're just doing like testings in here, right? So you know, I'm going all in and all out like that. You don't want to do that. So you want to kind of like back out once you know after like maybe once you reach yellow because you see the most optimal um the optimal damage is when you are up high there you know what i mean um, yeah like for me personally like what i've been finding though is that archers archers aren't like the best one verse one v ones i mean besides like artemisia rams and maybe rams ysg but it, it it's almost like to the point where Cyrus is not meant to be a one v one, like what is just this? the way he plays. Ramses Cyrus. Uh, Ramses Neb. Oh, Ramses Neb. This is the other game. fan favorite. Another march that people like. We'll stick yep. with the old setup of just Ramses uh, Archimedes Ramses. Yeah, because pretty much. I think the top marches that people have been playing is Cyrus Ramses, Cyrus YSG, or Rams Neb. So here's the thing. If 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 this march that I have right now with RTVJ and Ramses playing, does that say that doing a you know Nebuchadnezzar like putting Ramses with Nebuchadnezzar is maybe a little bit of a waste? But maybe not, because you can do an RTVJ to Myris as well, which is you'll have two marches that is good. Right? We'll see. We'll see how but much. Go ahead. The, the, the crazy part is is that Ramses Neb is an amazing rally. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Rally. Amazing rally. Because you didn't activate that skill, right? Um, for rallying. But then you have to understand as well I mean, Artemisia is a defensive uh, garrison commander. So. We'll look into the skills a little bit and discuss that. Um, let's see, I'm curious who's gonna win in here. Wow. 
very neck and neck. Might lose actually. The defense down. Of course, a little bit of RNG has to play with the role in here as well. People need to understand whenever they do testing, there's always RNG. So keep that in mind. If it's a very neck and neck game, you know, RNG can you know definitely change or sway the the battles as well. So we just do this for um sim you know not simplicity but we do this for a you know just a quick reference for players to kind of have a general a general idea of how these commanders perform in the battlefield hopefully you guys uh appreciate this and um don't forget to um you know like the video leave a comment and share the video as well support the channels in here guys oh it seems like i'm gonna lose Mm. I think so. I think I lost. No, hit the hit the skill, Artemisia. <laughs> yeah, that's so close. Wow. Six oh wow. Wow, that's a horrible number. Look at the severely wounded. This is bad omen for for me. <laughs> six, oh six, my six, god. Six. Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. Wow. Gosh that that heal alone from Ramses is what saved me. You've yeah. you've consistently had that four to five thousand healing, Ooh, even six thousand on that one. But yeah, I'm gonna share this picture right now on Discord because <laughs> that six six six. Oh my goodness, that's wow. That's I, I, I don't know what sy what symbolism this is. So that's not too bad. That's actually a very decent setup. Okay. So I would say that's more kind of like even out. Um, so looking into Artemisia, right? We have to remember that the third skill is also not really benefiting fully. We're not really able yeah. to disarm unless I was in garrison. Right, right. We we both don't have a, a skill. Nebuchadnezzar doesn't have one either. Yeah, so it's, so like, it's pretty fair having that set. Yeah. Um, so... I mean, it plays, you know, I mean, still, you know, really good on open field for um, commanders that are not specific for, you know, for uh, open field battles. Okay, now we're kind of tie back in here, loop around, and I want to try my Sid and Cyrus. Sorry, Cyrus and Sid. Let me are we going to do it? Are we going to do a Cyrus for Sid? Double? Oh, we can try that. Or what do you want me to do? Let's do the first battle testing that we did. The first one that I fought you with. Um, which is a uh, Artemisia and... Tomires? Well, Artemisia Ramsey. So I'll, do, I'll do Artemisia Tomires, but I'm going to have a different build. Okay. So it, it'll show people how much that healing is important. Yeah, let's try that out. Alrighty, let's get going with this one. Oh, let me gather gems. Let's steal that gem from me. Free to play. Alright, Cyrus. Artemis to Myris. Oh! <laughs> Bastard took my gem node. How? Oh yeah, there we go. You dead. <laughs> ha! You're, you're beating me. But I'm beating you. I was yeah. I was paying attention to the gem node because you took the gem node from me. <laughs> I know. Um, how did I kill you in there? Is my Joan of Arc so much stronger than you are? Wait, am I really oh. beating your Artemisia? Well, you were, yeah. I don't know if you still are, but you were. Uh... But I didn't go heal, so I went defense the the other skill. Probably M one one zero eight two is like what are they doing? Here? Probably. I went to the testudo formation, whereas you go the medicinal supplies. Oh Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, we have the same. I don't like that Tetsu though. Yeah. I used to like it, but I 
based on you know we've done a few testings in there and really it's not the best i i only go it because it's my garrison build so mm. it, it's it's better to have the defense when getting rallied but you are going to beat me with this so it shows how important build build this well also i mean not just that we also have two different cyrus built right we have two different cyrus build actually i should be facing this way because oops i should be facing this way for this is we are but we have two different cyrus build so remember my build oh did i switch back oh no i didn't switch back from the last video this is still the one that really lost bad like this is the clarity one uh, I need to switch back to the one. Like, let's can we do another one? Yeah, and we'll let's do see another how much, one. How much difference it is when I switch back to the to this build? I'm gonna switch mine to the healing build. <laughs> see if it makes a difference. All right. So you're gonna follow the the build that I have for Artemisia? Okay. Yeah. So this is Sid. 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 Actually, it's good because then we can see the talent tree differences between our commanders, you know. And um, look at that puddle cakes! I didn't get to finish my gem though. I left too because I had to kill your. Let me make sure. Just, just if you're trying to steal that again, I've got my full cabs there. <laughs> Little protection. <laughs> Alright. Alright, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually don't think I have the same skill tree, but um, I think I think I need to stop going full archer. See, I, I never go today. full archer. So what I have right now is I have Venomous Sting full, and I have Phoenix Tail full, and razor sharp full and full quiver full so i i just basically have everything in the archer i should have said this easier except without you know whistling arrow i don't do whistling arrow are we battling yeah 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 yeah, cool. yeah i mean at one point whistling arrow was really good like the extra damage was really good especially when like you were getting swarmed and stuff like that because you get that damage on every but it seems like it's just not I don't know if it just doesn't proc as much now or it's something just but proc, yeah I just don't I used to do that but like with all I don't know with all the recent testing that we've accomplished um, ooh. you're destroying me now this is El Cid but let's see I mean the game is not over yet until you know the rocker dies <laughs> <laughs> but you keep coming back so rockers never die check the merch <laughs> all right let's see bro actually i'm up ahead big time yeah you're destroying me cyrus sid man and latent power This is your dream combo, the Sid. Oh my god. Uh, your camera is still blinking, I don't know why. It's, it is what it is, it's okay. Things it's your Discord. <laughs> wow! Wow, guys. That's insane. Um. Yeah, I even healed for 3,000 that time. Still got destroyed. And let's take a look into the battles that we did earlier with the Cyrus Sid. Um, yeah, so Cyrus, let, I'll put it on favorites real quick. So so your battle earlier, we did 5,000 uh, severely wounded of 5,6. And then you have a severely wounded of 6K. And I have 4K remaining with Artemisia Tomyris. And this time, um, you know, flipped, but I had like 9k remaining compared to my 4k remaining. Wow, dude, this is actually a very legitimate combination. Like, 
this uh, Cyr uh, Cyrus and Sid. Really good. And, you know, that talent tree. I think, I think, uh, I think the talent tree that I have is pretty optimized. I think this one is better than the previous one. Let's take a look. And of course, there's also RNG, right? Um, let's see. Nine. Oh, yeah. Bro, look. Look at the previous talent tree that I had. Uh, but there's no healing on both, though. That's weird. Wait. Oh, you did not have. Uh, yeah, I, did, the, I didn't the have talent, healing. The talent. Let's see. The defense talent you had that uh, previously, right? The Tetsuda formation. But though, like, like you know, I have nine k remaining from this though. I still think that talent tree that I have is much better. I think I'm just gonna, maybe I'll just quit the clarity actually, and not even do anything in the clarity and just stick with Phoenix Phoenix Tail. But we'll see. All right, is there any testing else that we want to show? Are we good on that? We have total amount of you know 76k to heal. Not that much actually. <laughs> I think we've learned a lot in here. So in this session, what did we what did you like what's your conclusion in this session? My conclusion is whistling arrows is not as good as it either used to be or it's not as good as we think it is. I think it's not as good as we think it is. Um, so let me read again. When the normal, when the army led by this commander contains only archer units, normal attack have ten percent chance to increase all damage dealt by for two seconds. Really, I think it's not. I think uh, when you do this, like what? What is it at max level again? Ten percent. Oh, yeah, it's ten. Ten percent for twenty-five percent. Right, deal 25% of all damage. I mean, you think it's really good, but I feel like the probability of this happening... I mean, we have to look into the battle reports more to really look into the, you know, the proc of this. But, you know, maybe it's not that great. Like, using other talents, you know, less um, RNG, more... What is that called? It's better. That it's more reliable having less RNG. Man, cool to say. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Don't rely on chance. Yeah, don't rely on RNG too much. But I rely on the chance that you guys will consider checking both of our channel out more. Go to Puddle Cake's channel, subscribe, and turn you know turn your notifications as well. Leave a comment on every videos that we got well that's maybe like at least the videos that you guys are going to check out and of course leave a like because all these things help the analytics for both of our channels so guys make sure to do that and head on to that um, that's a chance that i am willing to risk with you guys anyway guys uh thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you guys have learned something really amazing in here thank you to puddle cakes for uh spending the resources and you know i'm going through this testings and learning for uh for the greater good of the community of the archer then right <laughs> awesome got no speech no uh ending speech you're always shy i gotta be up in five hours with my kids oh okay anyway see you guys later see ya